Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I know I've been gone for so long, but uh, my birthday was actually last Thursday, October 30th. So, I took a little week off and um, did some shopping, just some relaxation, and all of that good stuff. But yes, I am back and a day late, so don't hurt me too bad. But uh, starting next week, I will be back on schedule Monday and Thursday. So, if you did not know, those are my upload days, and be sure to check my channel on those days and so yeah on the note of shopping I do have a birthday haul for y'all so that will be my uh, video on Monday so definitely stay tuned for that I got tons and tons of goodies and just gifts from family and friends as well so yeah um, but anywho so we're gonna talk about this hair but yes um, today is Friday as you're watching it um, and yeah, I did this uh, twist out. I haven't done a twist out in over a year, so I wanted to see what the results would be on my hair. It's a lot thicker and a lot longer, so yeah. And um, as you can see in the video, um, I did really chunky um, twists. So if you want more definition than you're seeing here, then you might want to do smaller sections. It's um, very natural looking and kind of looks like this may be your natural curl pattern. That's the kind of look I was going for, not to twist out E looking, <laughs> but just kind of a more natural, kind of quick, easy hair to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So I'm starting on an old wash and go that we need to fix up. So I'm just going to use a clip, some Eco Styler gel, and some olive oil. And excuse my work shirt, I was just coming in from work, so you know you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> but okay, so the first section is going to be right above our ear, and we're going to just part that and then put everything away. So I'm starting on an old wash and go that we need to fix up. So I'm just going to use a clip, some Eco Styler gel, and some olive. Now in this first section, you're going to have two twists. So I'm just going to separate that right down the middle. And I'm just going to first add my oil and finger detangle my hair. Then I'm going to take my brush and just lightly detangle, being as though the hair was in that wash and go state, we want it to be a lot smoother when we twist. And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply my Eco Styler Gel to my roots and smooth it down through the rest of the hair. Okay, now it might be a little difficult for you to tell what I'm doing, but I'm just doing a flat twist. And you just want to take your two strands of hair and twist them around each other. Then grab a piece of hair when you're twisting down. So you just want to keep grabbing pieces and then continuing to twist. Making sure that you pull it tight on the way down. And also a note is to make sure you keep both of the strands separate when you're twisting. Make sure you don't marry any pieces of hair which will cause tangles. So as you can see, I'm making sure that I'm keeping them separate and twisting tight. And if you can't grasp the gist of it, I will um, do another close up so you will kind of see more in depth of what I'm doing. Okay, and for the second section, this is going to be right at your temples, and you're going to have two twists on each side. So this is now four twists on the second section, and I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same steps. Okay, so once again, you can kind of see more in depth here of what I'm doing. So I'm just taking two strands of hair and then twisting them around each other. As I twist, I'm going to grab another piece of hair and just add it to one part of the twist and then continue to twist down. So you're only going to add hair to one strand, not both strands, if that makes any sense. 
And I'm also going away from my face um, for these front twists so that you can have really nice face framing um, pieces when you take it out. It just looks a lot nicer when it's going away from the face in my opinion. And then as you can see here, like I said, I'm making sure to keep the strands separate as I'm twisting down and I'm pulling it tight so that the twist um, stays a little tighter because it will unravel just a little bit. And as you can see, I did decide to add some uh, flexi rods to the end. This is optional. I did remove them later because I did have to wear this style to work the next day. So it wasn't as curly, but um, if you want to keep them in longer than that, you can. Alright, and for the last section, um, I did go ahead and part down the middle. You can do any parting that you would like. And you are also going to have four twists in this section as well. So two on each side. And I just repeated the same steps. It's very easy once you get the hang of it. Just flat twist the hair down. And then once you don't have any more hair left, you're just going to two strand the remainder. And if it makes it any easier to understand, the piece of hair that I'm adding hair to is the one that I'm going to twist over the other piece of hair. So right before you twist again, that's when you want to add hair to your twist. Alright, so here is what you should have and I just left it in overnight and bam, so here we go. Here are the results. You guys have seen me take my hair down a hundred times, so I just skipped it in this video and I just added some um, gel to my edges and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoy this style and I'll see you in my next video.